Hi, I'm Lynette Brown, co-author of You Don't Look Psychic, and welcome to Mystical Monday. I hope your week is off to an incredible start. Yesterday, Sunday, we had our summer solstice, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention it in our mystical world. You know, part of the beauty of our work is being connected to nature, and our ancestors watched and noticed and paid attention and lived in union with nature so much so that they marked the different cycles right of of the earth's cycle right um with the solstices with the equinox right so summer solstice is the beginning of summer Woohoo! fun time play right but it truly is also the marking of the day is getting shorter and us moving into a different cycle, into fall, into the darkness, right? Into more inner work, right? Summer is like the sun, a masculine energy, right? And interestingly enough, solstice in Latin means the sun being still. And if you think about that stillness and how that can brew, like the heat boiling things up, boil and boil, toil and trouble, right? Um, you can utilize that energy to expand, expand your business, your work, your focus, you know, because we know our thoughts become things. We're very clear. We know that energy matters. We know that universal law is at work here, right? And so there's a, I found it interesting when doing some research um, to connect with you today. There is a geobiologist by the name of Rory Duff, whose research proved that in the sun, in the solstice, in, before, Actually, the research says that the days before the solstice, I'm reading this because I want to make sure I get it accurate, the energetic grid of the planet, the ley lines of the earth, all align with the exact same frequency, which creates waves of energy that go around the world. And suppose, from this geobiologist, Rory Duff, they say that it lingers for a few days. So today being just the day after summer solstice, those ley lines are still harmonically aligned. They're still resonating this energy. And I want you to see if you can utilize that energy that, and even if it's just imagining that the earth is somehow clicked in, right? Connected, everything's aligned, right? And feeling how that impacts your physicality. You know, I think so often we become disconnected from our bodies and in working with intuition and energy, it's essential that we're connected to our bodies, that we don't leave and check out and spend our time up in the ethers. We need to be in our body, grounded above and below connected, right? And I see our body as part of that, you know, as the divine instrument that connects above and below. And so with this energy of the summer solstice, you know, there's a, a powerful time too, because this is a, a, a epic center. This is a, 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 a epi point, right? It is a, it's a spot in time where there's a climax that's happening. And because of that, you know, it feels to me this peak moment, you know, in, in, in our solstices, in our equinox, you know, in these, these energetic cycles of nature, that's important for us to pay attention as well. And so if the sun, if solstice means sun stops, if we stop 
and just take a moment and acknowledge some of our accomplishments, some of our successes, some of the things that have come to bloom like the fruit on the tree, right? That's fueling us. That's that we're heart, you know, we have planted and come it's flourishing, right? It's a time for us to acknowledge, you know, our connection and all that we are on this earth and our, our place in it, right? And that starts here, you know, the summer solstice is also that marking place where we go from outward to inward, right? We're going into shorter days. We're going to be going into the darkness, into the fall. I mean, talking about fall already and summer just got here, right? It's like they're putting Christmas decorations already out in the store. No, I'm kidding, but it's that so it feels like that, right? So I think it's great to consider that solstice is the sun being still, us being still for just a moment to connect with those ley lines, the energetic grid, the circuitry of our planet. A well, great way to do that, some crystals that you can work with is the sunstone, pyrite, garnet. Those are all really great for this time, right? And just being out in the sun, right? And, and experiencing it, but see if you can imagine to dive into some of your mystical being. See if you can imagine that sun penetrating your body and coming in and acknowledging and sh shedding light on your accomplishments so far this year, so far this lifetime, right? We don't think we acknowledge our accomplishments accomplishments enough. I really don't. I think we're so busy to the next thing and making sure everything goes right, right? So I hope you have an incredibly mystical week and that you are uh, having fun feeling and experiencing hopefully these harmonic ley lines in this time that we are in right now with the summer solstice completing. Thank you for being here, and as always, much love to you all. Have a great week. Make it mystical! <laughs>